What's going on everybody, it's Moonbow here, and I am currently surrounded by a whole bunch of awesome creations at the moment, actually. And so these are some creations that were sent in to me by Canadian Toss. I'm gonna put a link in the description for his YouTube channel as well as his Steam Workshop so you guys can have a shot at these as well. Uh, I'm really looking forward to having a look at them. I haven't uh, touched them yet, I haven't even flown anything yet, so I'm really excited to just see what that's all about. This is quite a tank, actually. This is uh, epic wheels and uh, lots of turrets on it as well, actually, and I think that the design is just really well done as well. It looks immense, actually, and it's hard to believe it's a tank. I think we're gonna have to get in through here. I'm gonna bring up the menu, actually, so I can see what's going on. So, ooh, we get inside, there's a ladder. Wow, this thing is huge. I wasn't really expecting it to be this big on the inside, actually. Oh wow, three seats here. Storage bin, oh man. This is like a big huge uh, workbench. And a smaller table. I'm, just, I'm gonna assume this is like a sideways outward turret. I'm, I'm thinking if I hop in there I might end up popping outside, but... Ooh, it aims up and down? Oh, I was expecting to go side to side for some reason, but I like that. Nice turret action on the side. I don't know. Oh, I can just pop out like that. There we go. That's pretty sweet. I'm assuming that this side is probably the same. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna guess those are probably the motors. Oh, yeah. Those are the motors that power the entire thing. Another turret there. Oh, this is, this is nice here, actually. This is pretty sweet. You can actually kind of get an idea of what it would be like to be inside of a tank that's really, you know, small spaces and you have very small windows to see through for your own safety. So I'm wondering, I'm, I'm gonna guess that this, no, this is the driver's seat right here, but before I hop into the driver's seat, I'm gonna keep looking around actually. So we can hop down here and this is like a huge barrel mounted area. This is cool. I would love to be down here while this thing is driving around actually. But we'll hop out of here. Can I? Is there a way up there? Or... Oh, oh yeah, look at this! There is! I don't know why I'm not jumping. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. That is some great ladder work, actually. Kudos to you, Canadian. Toss. Ooh, this is awesome. Really nice view from up here. You don't realize how high off the ground you are until you're actually up at the top. But I think that looks awesome. Get rid of that HUD so you don't have to look at it. All right, I'm gonna try and drive this thing now. I am looking forward to it. I do need to bring the HUD up so I... Oh, wow, there's only one button. I was kind of expecting more, but one? That's crazy. I'm ex Okay, let's see. Let's get these wheels. Is this... I'm not sure if I'm doing this wrong or if it's just supposed to be this slow. Hmm, I might have to try and turn this around and see if I can do something with it. All right, I've gotten it facing a different direction with no hill, and I've got the thrusters going now, and it seems to be rolling. Uh... I'm guessing this is probably not the uh, greatest map for it, actually. This is probably better off in a big, flat, open terrain. I'm really underestimating the size of this, actually. But I think that this is just one amazing tank. And it's one of the most unique ones I've ever seen, actually. And, oh, this first-person view is quite nice. I love it. But let's go check out a different one. All right, we're gonna get into some flying creations right now. I'm really excited to try these out because as you might know, I make a lot of flying things in scrap mechanics, so it's always exciting to see what other people have to make in the game. So let's have a look here. This looks rather interesting. It has a lot of engines there, that's cool. Some crazy steering. I'm not too sure what that's all about. I wonder, how do I, how do I hop in here? Let's see. Of course, it's right in the back here, actually. That's a wonderful spot for it. So we're gonna hop in here. Oh, the first person view is very nice, actually. I really like it. And I'm gonna see the buttons here. Oh, just two buttons. So forward thrust, looks like. And... Oh, wow, okay, this is very interesting. I've never... I've never tried to fly. I'm guessing this is using a bunch of suspension glitch. So I'm pressing 1 and W. And it looks like it wants to bring my nose up. Oh boy, this is difficult. I'm not sure. I think... Okay, wait. I think I got it. 
No. Oh, that's not good. Um, so I might not be able to fly this thing, but it really does look absolutely amazing. Uh, but I'm going to have to try and break my way out of here, and we'll check out a different creation. And here we are now at a construction ship. I'm really excited to look at this one, actually. It just looks really, really uh, nice, actually. And it looks like it's going to fly really well. It has a load of thrusters back there. Uh, so let's see how we get on the inside here. I think, is it on this side? Okay, there we go. A little footstep here to hop in. Oh, so this is uh, the cargo bay. That's nice. And you can see here, actually, oh, he's got a crane mechanism. It looks like the switches are here. I'm guessing 9 and 10. Oh, so, oh this is going to be a full switch load. Let's see. We're going to probably just find our way to the seat and have a look. Ooh, actually, this is really nice. This looks like a, kind of like a viewing area. So if you're hovering around, you can actually have people sitting in here. And you have just a perfect view, like a, like a floor. Totally windowed floor as well. That's nice. Ooh, and this looks like another ladder, actually. Oh, this is awesome. It's nice that you can be able to just hop up in here and have a really nice view outside of the seat. Let's see how this goes. Bring this up. Whew. I know what it's like to have 10 buttons loaded out in the uh, inventory here. So it seems like the 7 key is like uh, floating. I'm gonna try the uh, 9 button. What does that do? I think that might be... Oh yeah, that's the crane stuff actually. I don't I don't want to do any of the uh, crane stuff just yet. So I'm guessing 1 brings that. Okay, so 1 and 2 is your tail up and down. 3 and 4 is your yaw left and right. So I'm guessing 5 and 6 is left and right roll. Okay. Is W forward? I don't think so. Is it... So 5 and 6... 8? Okay, there it is. 8 is your forward thrust. Alright. This is exciting. I love flying other people's stuff. So 8, 1, and 2. I need to use both hands for this, so I might not be able to get uh, very good footage as far as looking around goes, but let's see if we can fly this thing as intended. I'm gonna try and just kind of look around here, so 3 and 4. I'm used to using W and uh, A and D for a lot of my flying. Let's get that tail back up. Alright, let's actually, I wanna... Let's see if we can get over to this uh, mountaintop here. And see if I can't kind of use the crane a little bit. Let's have a nice view. Nine and zero. Oh, I see. There's a bit of a delay there, but the crane does come out. Ooh, that's nice. You can grab what you need to grab and pick it up into the loading bay and grab it. That's awesome. This is a really nice spaceship. Or maybe it's not a spaceship, but things that fly like this in Scrap Mechanic, I guess you kind of just feel like it's... It's a spaceship, even though there's no space. But yeah, this is awesome. Let's check out some more. All right, I got a couple more here to show you guys. I wanted to save them till the end because I think that they're my favorites of the collection here. So let's have a look at this fighter jet, shall we? It looks awesome, actually. It's just stunningly detailed. Uh, some great usage of the wedge pieces as well. As you can see, it's got the uh, pop-down top window. And look at that. A uh, beautiful Canadian flag for Canadian toss, no doubt. I love it. And this is nice back here. Oh yeah, this is a nice looking plane. Coming for me, I'm telling you. So let's see, another 10 button loadout. That's awesome. Let's see what buttons do what zero. Let's start with the switches. I hear some thruster there, okay. Nine, looks like it's the forward thrust, eight. All right, eight brings the top down, that's nice. And seven is floating me up, all right. I know what that's all about. So let's see if I can put it all together now. So I'll hit seven, go at zero. I don't know if... Zero looks like it might just lift me up a little bit. So nine, okay, nine is the forward thrust. One is up and down, yep, yeah, okay. I think these are similar. It seems like uh, he's using a lot of the uh, same kind of button layouts here for each of his uh, creations. So let's see, whoops, that's not the right one. Nine, there we go. All right, we are flying right now. I hope I know what I'm doing. It's pretty fast. 
Okay, okay. Alright. Yep. Okay, I got this, I think. Ah, there we go. It's a little different than what I'm used to in my planes, uh, but nonetheless, it's, uh, it's very well balanced, and it flies like a dream. So, I think that this plane is something else. Let's see if I can... if I'm still... Whew. All right, let's see if we can do a barrel roll, actually. I think that's a true... Whoops, that's the wrong button. I'm pressing some wrong buttons here. That's all right. I think I can get this. I'm going to try and flip this around, and we're going to pull a barrel roll with this thing. Well, let's go... Ah, ah yeah. So you know a plane is balanced when you can uh, do a nice barrel roll like that. I think we should try and do a big loop as well. This is going to be cool. Alright. Oh yeah, it actually really does... The way it's balanced for flight... Oh, I think, is there a wall there? Ooh. The way this is balanced for flight is just perfect. That uh, Actually, I think you guys should really check it out. Ooh. Alright, with that said, I think we should go and check out the final creation, the helicopter. Alright, last but not least, we've got the helicopter, the one I am most excited to fly, because I have made loads of helicopters in Scrap Mechanic, and so it's kind of my niche, and this is just going to be something else for me. So let's, uh, actually, we'll clear this out real quick, and I am going to grab the connection tool just to see what's going on here. Alright, loads of thrusters. Some, like, booster thrusters on the side here. That's pretty much how I make most of my uh, blade designs on the helicopters as well, is thruster-powered, because you can get it spinning fast enough that it actually does create some stability. That's looking pretty nice. So, let's hop inside here. I see this the way into the seat quickly there, and you can also hop in from the back. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, so this is the main seat here. Let's get right into it, shall we? Alright, so the buttons look like there's quite a few, so I'm gonna try them out here. It looks like uh, 7 and 8, so what's 7? Okay, so 7 makes the blade spin and lifts you up at the same time. That's pretty neat. I like the idea of having them create the lift right away. And 8 is your forward thrust, so I think a combination of the two should get us flying. So we're going up. I'm gonna have to use both hands for this one as well, probably, because it's a lot of buttons. So, I'm thinking it's pretty much, yeah. It's the same design that you see in all of his other creations as well, actually. So, it's always nice to have consistency in your builds. Uh, just for the sake of uh, usability, anyway. So, let's kind of get this nose tilting here so we can fly around a little bit faster. It definitely flies very smoothly, actually. I can't complain about anything when it comes to the flight mechanics of this helicopter. It's, uh... It's hard for me to fly because I've gotten so used to all of my steering on a couple of the other keys. Let's see if I can get out of this here. I think this should be an easy fix here. Alright, jamming the thrusters on this one. Ooh. Yeah, see, I keep wanting to turn with uh, A and D. I'll just have to get used to that. Overall, though, really, really neat design. It reminds me a lot of my Sky Crane, actually, uh, with the way that the uh, side kind of legs come out and all that good stuff. Alright, I'm going to try and land this helicopter on that landing pad down there. Uh, wish me luck. Uh, we're going to try and ease it in nice and steady. Oh, it's coming in fast. All right. This is very difficult when you it's someone else's creations. It gives me a good appreciation uh, for possibly what other people are going through when they're trying to fly my creations, actually. Look at that. I am I am definitely going to totally miss that landing pad there. But that's all right. I got pretty close to it. Actually, I wonder... Okay, you know what? No. I'm going to try this. I have a pretty good angle here. Let's hover this thing back. I'll make it, actually. I am determined now to just land on this pad. Oh, maybe not. I almost had it. I'd give myself half points for that one. 
So a big special thanks to you Canadian Toss for sending your creations my way and letting me feature them in a video. If you want to send your creations to me, then I'll put the email on the screen right here for you. It's moonbowsm at gmail.com. Send over your Steam Workshop links and I'll check them out eventually and you might see it in a future episode. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for endless scrap mechanics.